All right, folks, the deck is Odd Odin Warrior. The goal of the deck is honestly to take advantage of the recent nerf to Odin and put him in a Baku Warrior deck so that we can take advantage of the hero power and apply a little bit of pressure for the first time ever by Odd Warrior. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! Wait. How can one person be a horde? Yeah, what are we up against here? You meant hoarder? Okay. Yeah, I've seen that show. That's kind of sad, to be honest. Seen this episode before as gross? Yeah. Just keeps a bunch of, like medieval weaponry and plate armor laying around, stacked up on top of each other, all rusted. Not to mention, like, the, uh, the over-salted food. Doesn't actually preserve it. I don't know what he's thinking. Break it, you buy it. Donkey. Uh, is it gonna be the new, like, two-mana robot for the doubled-up hero power? Is that the game plan here? Is Odin odd now? Uh, no, he's 8 mana. I just have hacked the video game and still haven't upgraded hero power. Break it, you buy it. Okay. Hey yo! It's your boy. Ignore that 9, by the way. Bolster! Double bo- oh my- I don't know, man. I'm just trying to cling to life while I get bolstered here. First time bolster got value? False. False. Bolster is actually, in my experience, often a better card in this deck than Fire Plume's Heart. Happy with three birthday. Truly tremendous. <laughs> Jeez, Brian. The speech classes have not been helping you. I'm sorry. We tried. But thank you, Karen, for the uh for the bits. Brawl is the worst card <laughs> that, that continues to exist in Hearthstone for some reason. <laughs> and it's just fun for no one. Except me right now in this moment. I'll take a brand here since I have the shield maiden. Everyone clowns on Crackle, but Brawl has always been the RNG king. Yeah, it's I mean it's been happening since like day one of Hearthstone, right? Borg. Turns out we are going to start taking damage. I wish somebody had told me about that. No wear and tear of any kind. Yes, the break break it, you I don't know if we even have the space to get the Odin down next turn necessarily, but we'll try. 
I got good and bad news. Okay. My girlfriend broke up with me because I was spending too much money on bits. But good news, all the money I was spending on her I can use on bits for you. Always looking for the bright side of things. Like tax evasion. Thank you for teaching me how to do it properly. Anytime. Um, given your history, Sir Unicorn, I have a hard time believing that's sincere. But if it is, I'm... I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and also, I don't know how to take it either way, but uh, thank you for the bits. So, no Odin, because this needs to die. Mm, skewer, slice, or slash? How to decide? From nothing. Power. I guess this does something. Done. Compared to the other ones, which don't. Out of my jungle. The only history I know is the history I've learned playing paradox games. It sounds like a paradox if in and of itself. If you're someone who supports the 45% line item in your monthly budget for funny robot words, then you always deserved better. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe let's uh, reduce that number as a as a starting point. That could be something to consider. <laughs> funny robot man isn't that funny, but thank you, Kali. Okay, we have somehow successfully gotten the Odin down. Now we just need to not die. Well, I'm figuring out a way to make the opponent die. Hit two minions there. It's not a beast, right? Any robot man is as funny as you make him, I suppose that, you know, I can't deny that. Problem is, they have another one of those annoying wax elementals. Wait, funny robot man? I donate bits in the hope I see them in YouTube and smile as I'm making a difference. <laughs> Anyways, hi YouTube unicorn. I hope you're having a good day spending $10 a day on energy drinks. Remember, your heart is a muscle and we train to failure. Don't do that. That's way too many energy drinks. <laughs> Alright, what is... Have I played any other riffs? Because there's only one way to find out. Okay, I thought so. But Firestone usually has a tracker for that, that I'm apparently completely relying on. Isn't $10 a day on energy drinks like two drinks depending on the brand? I mean, there's got... If that's true, there's got to be a more efficient way to get caffeine into your system. So we go here. Six, nine, ten, five. Here, yeah. Let's go. Okay, let's get this uh, six mana. Um, Renathal. I can take the hit. Unfortunate. It's the break of You're only supposed to be having, like, one a day at max. I don't think... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but let's focus on just one aspect of this at a time. We can't... <laughs> Let your penance begin. 
Is this going to be Wheel Warlock? <laughs> and I'm just not going to have a chance to win? It would be wheelie funny, yeah. I appreciate that, Vibe. Well, that's its own problem. At least we have the Odin. But again, this is a situation where I think it's probably slower than what the, their deck is capable of doing with damage, right? Either way, gonna have to save the coin for the Odin because getting it online is probably the most important thing. The good news is we do have a health buffer as well as it doesn't matter if we overdraw here um, as well as the capacity to stack armor but the downside is they do like infinity damage. We're gonna throw a quest line truly a deck of all time yeah. Yeah that's uh something that people have been doing since uh the Demon Seed released, and it's always confused me a bit. I think even in a deck, it, it seems as though even in a deck where, like, the entire game plan is fatigue or, you know, self-fatiguing, people are still just utterly terrified of taking fatigue damage for whatever reason. Is there an inherent game plan difference of Odd versus Even Warrior that makes Odd Warrior worse, or just low, lower card quality for Odd? Uh, lower card quality, especially for, like, the benefit of Even is that you had a lot of bursty spells that are just not present in uh, Self-Sabotage. Okay, we did lose Brian. But, like, those type of cards are just not available to Odd Warrior. Maybe it's PTSD from all the Milrogue and Druid they face. What Milrogue? For a thing to be scary, it has to exist. Just feel wise to at least make a little bit of hand space and continue applying pressure. Because I don't really have cards that are playable for the foreseeable future. Why is it that even spells are higher quality? I don't know if you know anything from a design perspective. I don't... It's not a design thing. It's just, like, the good armor gain spells. Especially the two mana... Like, gain ten armor just happen to be two mana spells, right? Wait, that's kind of Giga Brain. Where <laughs> they're kind of trying to intentionally damage themselves with the uh, the Yogg. It didn't really work, but it was cute. Oh no, but what happens if we overdraw? This is not what we stood for. No need to shout, Talon. I see what they're, they're trying to get me to burn the uh, the Odin, which was. Actually, a reasonably good play there. You just kind of playing towards their outs makes makes sense. Overdrawing or taking fatigue means losing. Yeah, that's why you always run Renathal.
Right. What'd you say to me? Self-sabotage strikes again. Spider tank? That's heckin' broken! How much do you want to bet they're also running the wheel? Yeah, almost certainly at this point, it feels. Despite the, like, obvious anti-synergy with the quest line. <laughs> Wait, isn't that the second time they've gotten rapid fire? Whoops. That's Defile, though. What? It's completely Why? Safe. Just, don't spill it. Just need a Bran. We don't have Bran, do we? I can take the hit. Thanks for the uh, Defile assist there, friendo. Three agonies on my deck, but I'm sorry, what <laughs> they really just are win con warlock. They again they just cannot self sab stop self sabotaging. Stick cards up my deck to own the libs. Well, consider me owned then, I guess. <laughs> I think that's my new favorite bit for explaining. <laughs> well met. Why would you rig the draw like that to ruin the opponent's master plan of trying to make you draw cards plus mill you? Kind of inconsiderate. I mean, you're right. I'm sorry. I was going to, like, try and justify myself and explain, but you're just, you're right. Something about, like, having a nickel, I guess? I mean, this one seems to be built a little bit more sensibly. <laughs> so that's bad news for me. It's nice that they had Geo added Geodude to Hearthstone. We've all been waiting for that. The problem here is they're gonna have like the good cards like Flesh Giant and uh, Molten Giant and Backfire. And they're just going to like rush down the quest line the way the good lord intended. Bring the pain. 
really like killing this, but they do have a lot of minions that have died already, so. The raised dead isn't super reliable yet, but also it's a 100% chance to hit, in my experience. There, Odin. It's me, Raffle. Turn nine is just too slow. Light oracles in. I wanted to like see how good Odin as a uh, late game win condition would be. Doesn't seem terribly promising at present. One card, it's going to be Crystallizer. Just you wait. It wasn't. Streamer lied. Now it'll just be it all. Ooh. That's a big deal. Wait, did they burn the quest reward? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, they built the deck more sensibly. I don't know necessarily about how they played it, but I mean, we've all been there. You're just gonna rip a wheel of death out of nowhere, surely. Welcome, town car. <laughs> Keep back light. None will survive. Ah, I see you brought guests. There are a few different things this rogue could be. Okay. Um, even still, there are a couple different things this could be. It could be the... Grote combo. Or it could just be straightforward pirate rogue. It's kind of leaning towards Garot. Probably need to bellowing, uh, the or forge the bellowing here. Because this being on the board, it could get them a lot of uh, hard draw with the toy boat. Garot Rogue Pog. I mean, you say that now, but wait until the deck catches on. And you're frequently dead on turn. Yeah. I mean, it has to be this. This does the most effective damage, unfortunately. The oh, the order isn't what I thought it was going to be. Oh. Huh. Okay. This deck uh, pretty frequently kills on like turn five. From my understanding. I think next turn we just want to go Acolyte Hero Power. 
stacking armor is going to be quite important. Wait, swordfish could indicate not groat. I haven't actually seen the, the Groat Rogue deck. I've only heard of it. Yeah, it's basically just a streetwise trickster and then using Toy Boat as a ridiculous draw engine. Break it, you buy it. But once people... I think it's probably pretty close to flushed out in terms of the deck list. I think it's more a matter of... Um, Getting the play pattern sorted out. Yeah, this is almost undoubtedly not the Garot version. I don't think it runs uh, ship scanning. Probably a good sign for us. And I have heard that Counterfeit Coin is looking pretty good in like current iterations of Pirate Rogue as well. I guess I have a list somewhere of the Garot Rogue. I can figure out if it's uh, running ship's cannon. Doesn't look like it. It's looking like just our reckless flurry turn. Bye. Now I'd tell them that they can leave my game, but uh, <laughs> Rogue still has a lot of draw left, right? Double, there's a gear shift, a secret passage. Never bring a sword to a fish fight. I can take the hit. Like, this still ends up being the type of matchup that we want to encounter. And then it's the type of matchup where Odin doesn't really do much, you know? So. I think the Renovol nerf revert did do something. Like, it made Quest Mage <laughs> stronger. Um, but the issue is, as it frequently is, at the same time that uh, Renathal was reverted, <laughs> some of the best aggro tools in the format got faster. So I don't think it like changes much in terms of the speed of the metagame. Like, it probably, if anything, and this is this is what I've been saying for a long time about, like, people have re suggested health total changes and increases long before um, Renathal was a thing. But the benefit uh, for, or who, the, the type of deck that really benefits most from health increases isn't slow control decks. It's actually just, like, fast combo. And that's kind of what we're looking at now, is there are a lot of really strong, fast combo decks like Inner Fire Priest, um, Garot Rogue, even um, can maybe make a case for like Reno Quest Mage not being fast combo, but still combo that benefits from it. Wait, maybe there is a Garot Rogue combo that they've just been holding on to, and it's just a more tempo-oriented build. Or I just don't know how modern Pirate Rogue is built, which is very much the case. I think they're just going to fatigue themselves here. Because if they attack, they get two more pirates here. Never 
never bring a sword to a fish fight. I'm almost out of cards. Rise me, hearties! That was cool. Now watch this drive. I didn't want to strip my armor there, just in case they had the the combo at the end, but this also just, I don't know. I originally felt like the game was over several turns before that.